Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to be walking you through how to add content to a staff notebook. So you'll remember from our last video that in a, a staff notebook you always navigate from left to right. So along here you can see all my notebooks sitting on my shelf essentially and I'm currently in the Think Bright faculty notebook. Now you can see the sections here, again we have the collaboration space that I can edit, being aware that any changes I make are reflected for everybody in the faculty. I have my content library which is content that the owner provides that I can't edit and then I have my personal folder here which is content that both I and my faculty leader can edit. So then my sections, then I have my pages over here and then you have the page that happens to be open at the moment which is simply the welcome page. So if I want to add content to the collaboration space I'm just going to do a test page in budget so in here you can see I've created a page called test and I've done that by clicking add page, <clears throat> excuse me, and then naming it test. Now when I click on test and I click over here, it expands the page which is nice and handy. In order to add any content to this page, you need to make sure that you're in the actual canvas itself. So making sure that you click down here and you should see your cursor flashing. And the great thing about OneNote is that because it's part of the 365 family, you have very familiar toolbars across the top here. So the Home tab is exactly the same as always. I can add content here and I'm simply typing straight in here. You will notice though that my text actually forms in this little box and you can move that wherever you like on the page. You can also adjust the size of that which is really nice and flexible. If I was then to begin typing over here, it creates another box which makes things really nice and flexible. So that is the home page. This should all look quite familiar, just editing your text. Only difference is that we have some tags over here. Now these just add some nice icons to whatever you happen to be typing at the time. So feel free to have a play with those. The next toolbar along the top here is the insert menu. And this again is very familiar, it's the same as Microsoft Word, we just have a few different options. So if you were to insert a table, it's quite simple, just clicking on this and selecting your rows and columns. If you are looking to insert a more complex spreadsheet, I would recommend building that in Excel and then actually inserting that as a file rather than trying to build the spreadsheet in OneNote. You just are a little bit more restricted in terms of options. So if you were to do that, um, you add files simply by clicking the add file button, which will bring open your browser. So if I was to add a PDF, you can see I'm adding that file here and it just enters that in here. Every document that you put, you can also preview by clicking the little I, which will give you a preview of the document without opening it, which is quite handy. Now you might see here that there's an insert file and then there's an insert PDF button. You actually can insert a PDF by clicking the file, but the advantage of using the PDF button is that it gives you a display. So if I choose that exact same file, click select, you can see that it's actually put the entire file into the OneNote itself, and it's also put the downloadable link here. So that's the only difference between those two buttons here. Next one is insert a picture and again this is very similar to Microsoft Word um, and it's then flexible, you can change the size of that image as you go. You can also add links and equations. Links are really great to be adding video files. Because this faculty OneNote is going to be shared by the faculty, you want to avoid adding really large files, especially those that are movies. And so a really great way to do this is instead by uploading a YouTube or a ClickView link. So I've already copied a URL from YouTube and if I paste that in here, you can see that it's put not only the title, it's changed the URL to a title of the video, it's actually embedded that video within here. And if I click play, that YouTube video is going to play right from my OneNote. Um, you can have a play with the rest of these settings. These are simply going to add dates, add times, um, add symbols, etc. And this is also a really nice feature, being able to add a short audio recording um, that will record your voice in here and simply place that audio file right on the OneNote. Another great feature of OneNote is that you can draw on this page. It's not as linear or as fixed as something like a Google Doc or a Word Doc. 
And so we can actually use a pen to draw straight on the page. So you can adjust the type of pen you're using, you can change the colour, you can also change the thickness, so you can experiment with those to do what you might like. And simply to return to text mode, you just click that and you'll return to being able to type in here as well. So the view panel isn't as exciting. We will talk through features like immersive reader at, a, at another time. You also have your zoom and you can change your page width. So this is given a nice overview. Please let me know if you have any questions, but just remembering that any change that you make to a document in the collaboration space is reflected for everybody who's a part of that notebook. Okay, thanks everybody.